and do squat, uh, PewDiePie could go down double the distance and get way more gains. With my perfect form, okay? I don't want to hear anyone complaining about my form. Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization, and I also happen to be a professor of exercise and sports science at Lehman College in the Bronx in New York City. Man, New York City, see? Man, see? What? Why did I port over to 20s guy and girl? I'll tell you why. Because we're going to be reviewing Mr. PewDiePie's workout. I don't know his relationship to the 20s. I thought that joke would materialize better than it did. But you see, PewDiePie is a person on the internet who does internet things, but he recently got pretty f***ing jacked and ripped. And I'm gonna see if the way he got there is most efficient or least efficient or probably nuanced in somewhere between. Let's find out. Hello everyone. Today we're gonna to go through my epic workout. He's not from America. Scott, the video guy, where's PewDiePie from? Swedish. I am from the countries of Sweden. <laughs> And, no, I am Marso Magnus, and in my free time, I name PewDiePie, <laughs> and I have a Viking sword and humongous YouTube following. I'm like Thor, but with more followers and more relevant to today's issues. I love the accent. I can't get enough of it. If you're Nordic, I want to hear you talk that shit in your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing accent. And I'm not just talking about the ladies. Y'all bitches fine as hell up there. The men. Send me the men. Oh look, PewDiePie, he's a man from the countries of the north. Let's see, let's see what he has to say here. So you also can look epic game. Huh. The screen went red. He was angry. Hopefully he used some anger in the gym. First off, let's go through my setup, my workout setup, which is the same goddamn setup that I've always had. And here's my gym setup. Oh, that's low budge. I thought this motherfucker was making like a trillion dollars an hour on YouTube. Hmm. Respect for not spending your money on dumb shit like gym equipment. What do we got? Uh, universal dumbbells. Those are always a good investment, by the way. Pug. Great dog for a training partner. Doesn't give a shit. Will fall asleep. Won't bother you. Bench. That's it. You can get in pretty decent shape like that. Training legs is tough. But through a combination of goblet squats, heel elevated squats, dumbbell stiff legged deadlifts, and lunges, you can actually get pretty jacked legs too. And the upper body is super easy to train if you just have that set up. So let's see what he did. The only difference now is that I'm in our living room. That's all you need, baby. Oh, he trains in the living room. Oh, he moved it from the garage. I use these weights called power block. Power block's excellent. I have only good things to say about the power block. My workout is pretty much more or less the same as I used to. Exciting. I've only changed up a couple of things here and there. I think I used to do five days a week. Guys, I'm noticing a trend here. Everyone who makes lots of money on YouTube has a gaming chair. Which brings me to my next point. Scott the Video Guy, you equipped this studio in which we work in its entirety. Where the f is my gaming chair? We'll have them for the next video. They're generally a little bit harder though, and I know that you don't like it hard. I do like it hard from the back, but mostly the bottom. Am I right? Do you guys know what I mean by that? I want to be very clear. I mean that I like consensual gay sex. Hey guys, if you like that and you want more, I don't know why you would, but I'm judging you already. We have a member section with extended, unfiltered, raw, triple X rated cuts. What? See you guys there. I start off like most people. Oh my God, I didn't know he was this good looking. Scott, how dare you not prepare me for this? Just the way he like casually flips his hair, like it's no big deal, but I've got the full head of hair and I hope that asshole Dr. Mike is jealous. He is jealous, PewDiePie, now that you know that I exist or anything. Gotta start up with chess. It's the based. Did he just say based? I was trying to make his accent sound worse than it is, or more extreme rather, because it's a good accent. And I failed because he, it's even more extreme at times. Nothing wrong with starting with chess. It's all a bro in us. Me, I'd like to have a few bros in me at the same time. How does that work? The thing with dumbbells is they're quite hard to get up. Like, to get to the- <gasps> Scott? His chair reclines almost fully. Try and recline that one, see if it does. Huh. It feels like a different place here now. That's not fully. 
Get me a f***ing gaming chair, Scott. Um, I was so proud when I hit the... Yeah, okay. So this isn't terrible technique. Ideally, we would like to see Mr. PewDiePie go down slower and get a much deeper stretch. And because it's tough to get a deep stretch with the dumbbells being that big, they just end up hitting your chest. Either as he goes down, he should rotate them into neutral or he should have them at neutral the entire time so that he can get significantly below his chest. Stop for a second or two down there, really open up that chest, get a huge stretch. Trust me, you will feel it. And then come back up. I definitely been pushing myself more. I try to push myself to the point where it's like, okay, here I am, one more rep. If I can do one more rep, there will be world peace and everyone will be happy. That is excellent training motivation. I use that daily. So I do chest, I do incline chest. Chest is a muscle group, not an exercise. It is called a press. I'm being a pedantic asshole just for more content at this point. Which is good too, and then I do. Scott. <laughs> After that, I do shoulders, which when, when you're already tired from chest. Yeah. You know, the technique is okay. Again, he could go slower on the way down. He could go deeper for a big stretch. You actually want to touch the inside of the dumbbell to the outside of your front delt. That's a huge, big mega stretch at the bottom. That would mean you have to use less weight, better for your joints, better for your muscular development. But what he's doing isn't bad at all. And also like shoulder pressing in general for physique development purposes, as long as you're doing chest pressing at a flat and inclined angle is just way overrated and way overused. Plain and simple. Oh yeah, and then after that I do a superset where I combine, oh yeah, look at that. These, I don't know what they're called. They're called tricep kickbacks. They are a terrible exercise because muscles grow best when at the deep stretch, you have the most external load imposed or the most internal load. And at the contraction, the least. Kickbacks at the bottom, gravity isn't even affecting them, so you get nothing. And then at the top, it gets harder and harder and harder. And while you feel the tricep contracting significantly, um, it's just not an ideal movement. Like, does it work? Yes. Is it close to the best movement? No. A better movement would be to take the dumbbells, one in each hand, lie down on the bench, and bend at the elbows to touch either your face or to outside of your ears. You can do it neutral grip. You can do it regular grip. Either way, it's going to fry your triceps way, way, way better. The um, kickback is, uh, it's an exercise I just wish would die and go away. Kind of like my mom told me my whole life until I moved out. Like, she'd say shit like, why are you still here? Who are you? She'd yell at me and throw pots and pans. I was five. And then uh, lateral raises, I guess, like that. <laughs> like, I like how he's guessing about what exercises he did. But I try to make it into one set. Okay. Decent technique. Again, folks, rushing daddy centric. You get up there, you're milking out a ton of muscle growth stimulus if you go slower on the way down. Get up quick, slow on the way down. I finally come to a point where I'm more comfortable pushing myself before if I ever felt like I'm pushing myself so I could almost throw up, which, which can happen, I think, especially when you're building muscle, it can happen, happen easier than you think. I have thrown up a lot in training. <coughs> One of the reasons people throw up is because they're so untrained. Their circulatory systems are underdeveloped, their cardiovascular system is underdeveloped. That's definitely a reason people throw up, but if you get sufficiently big and strong, you can throw up just because your muscles produce so much waste product that your body's like, dude, something needs to go and you start vomiting. That's at least why I tell myself I throw up after the gym. It's not because of my body image issues. I was supposed to promote the new G Fuel tub. Look at that, it's awesome. I drink every day. That's the kind of organic influencer promotion we pay good money for as supplement companies. Jesus Christ. 10% muscle increase, of course. That's false, but you gotta promote, you gotta promote. It's not a pre-workout, it's just epic drink, epic gamer drink. What? It's not a pre-workout, it's just an epic gamer drink. I'm confused as to what it does. Does it make you better at video games? If so, by what mechanism? Moving on to the next day number two, Tuesday. Whoa, Tuesday looked bloody, holy shit. Leg day, makes sense. I do squat. Uh, we maximize muscle growth by getting deep into a stretch position. So PewDiePie could go down double the distance and get way more gains. 
with my perfect form, okay? I don't want to hear anyone complaining about my form. Like, it's this weird thing where, while I'm doing it, I'm not that tired, but as soon as I stop, I'm just like, I need to sit down. Oh God. Uh. <laughs> Lugs will you up. What I always like to say is, you can work out your upper body, but you train your legs. It's a process for sure. No one likes leg day. Mm, some of us masochistic weirdos love leg day. Matter of fact, I just did leg day today. Loved every minute of it. If you like leg day, you're lying, okay? Oh, oh, my opportunity. <gasps> How dare you? White glove, slap, slap. Put white glove back on. Champagne glass, sip. Uh, after deadlift, I do this split squat thing, lunges, that's it. Dope. Look, he turned into a man of at least half African descent. Outdoors in excellent workout attire. Strange. Three sets of that, and then I do the calf raises where you go on your toes. Blah, blah, bling, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm pretty much done, you know? I don't, I'm not that, you know, legs. Yeah, sure, it's done. Yeah. If you're into just having like bro muscles, and like a classic guy's physique, Legs are overrated. I'll be the first person to say that. I love having big legs, but it's definitely a thing in and of itself. You know, it's uh, legs you do for the soul. I find myself to be with workout. It's so easy to make excuses for yourself. Like, oh, I'm a bit tired today or oh, I'm, yesterday I had blah, blah, blah. Or today was a long day or blah, blah, blah. One thing I had that really, really helps is my watch because I can time my sets. If you had the RP Hypertrophy app will make sure you're progressing on track, monitoring, and adjusting your workout at all times. So for all that work you're doing, you can be sure you're getting the best results. It tracks your weight and your reps and your sets and gives you little green check marks to press and it says, finished workout, congratulations. Would you like to see your next day? Oh, I love it so much. I even made it myself. I try to use my phone. I try using an app to time my rep. Timing your rest. It's largely a waste of time. Scott, is there any way we can link that video? Yeah. Let's do it. Another thing I do is I drink uh, pre-workout. Sometimes I even drink G Fuel, just because I know G Fuel is not a pre-workout. What the f is G Fuel? Uh, here's what I know so far. It's not a pre-workout. It's a video gamer juice. I thought video gamers are powered exclusively by Mountain Dew and Doritos. Then on day uh, four, I do I start off a little bit slower again, where I do uh, pulls. And the great thing about what the f was that picture? The animation budget is falling all the way through this video. Working out at home is I can uh, be shirtless. Ooh, that ass. Anyway, I assume there's an ass underneath those baggy pants. A man can dream, and it's not cringe. <laughs> Oh, God, what is that? Yeah, that is a dumbbell bent row with one sixth of the range of motion you should be using. Folks at home, hinge at your hips. Bend your knees a little bit to hinge even further so that you're as close to parallel with the ground as possible while your lower back isn't rounded. So flatten out that back hinge at your hips and your knees just a little bit to get nice and deep and you should feel tension in your hamstrings in the back of leg that whole time then when you're in that position you stay there fixed do not move your legs and torso at all let your arms fully stretch you at the bottom and then fully come up at the top to try to touch the dumbbells to just below your shoulders and then all the way back down nice and slow that is a dumbbell bent row that'll be really really good and worthwhile this it's going to cause some back growth, but my God, that's a short range of motion and a deeper stretch is king in the hypertrophy world. Mm. I start off with um, single arm rows, then I do two arm rows, then I do overhead extension. Back and triceps, very well. And then I do two, uh, double arm rows, but reverse grip. Then I do biceps, and then I do uh, hammer curls. Hammer curls are a humongous waste of time for most people. Uh, they hit the muscles of the forearm and the upper arm that are hit by every other row that you could do pretty well, I might add. So having the palm face up and curling like that is probably 90 some percent of the time going to be superior. 
It's kind of hard finishing up with bicep and hammer curls because you're kind of tired at that point. But what I find <laughs> to really elevate my work at is my Spotify playlist where I listen to a bunch of like industrial techno or in Sweden we only listen to the finest musics. We don't listen to the look at this first song is called World Spawn. It's by Nikki Istrefi. That mean he's a Nordic person, Mick Gordon, which is probably not that good. This sounds like an Anglo person, not, not very hardcore. Or like metal or metal. God, I could listen to that all day. Oh, that Nordic tongue. Mm. Oh, that sounded weird. I'm sticking to it. I like it either way. That's another accidental thing I said that has two meanings. I do like it either way. It sounds so cringe, but once you were there doing those bicep curls and that, it worked. Why does it sound cringe? Folks, pause. The number one way to sound cringe is to accuse someone, anyone in any circumstance of being cringe. Do you know what's embarrassing? Being f***ing embarrassed. Own your shit. I used to listen to like podcasts and maybe YouTube videos sometimes, just like whatever in the background. And, and I don't think that makes you as focused as when you, if you put on music that you really like, it really motivates you and like. I'm really happy that he drew us the world's worst chart to illustrate that. That being said, uh, it, good music is great. I personally don't listen to a lot of music under most circumstances when I'm training because I'm already crazy. Then uh, after I do my pole exercises, day five. I like that pole exercises was a picture of him pushing. Mm. I used to do leg on day five. I like leg, just one leg. In Sweden, we don't have the plural. So it's leg, only leg. How many leg do you have? I just have leg. Folks, do you want me to play video games and commentate on it? Is that some way you'll find me useful? What's it called? Twitch? Should we do Twitch? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, hold on, hold on, I'll give you a preview. Oh, see, I can twitch. It sounds so cringe. Sometimes I do kendo, which I found to be a really fun kind of cardio, to be honest. It, it kind of tires you out pretty well, and it's fun to try out something different. This is like when you're 14 and you have a play sword and you do this in your bedroom and your mom yells, go to sleep, it's 10 o'clock. Before that, I used to do other stuff as well. I was jump, skipping, jo what's it called? Jumping rope. Motherfucker, how old are you? Plays video games, sword fighting, jump rope, trains with dumbbells at home. Scott, I was under the impression that this is a multi-millionaire, ultra successful business person. And I do a, a workout that's a sort of a combination of the entire week, except leg, of course, because leg is cringe. Oh God, that whole several sentences hurt my soul. I will continue on for you, the viewer. I do chest, I do shoulder, I do bicep, I do all the epic stuff. Epic? Dumbbell at home shoulder workout is epic? I thought epic was when you like walked a hundred miles through the cold on bare feet bleeding out of your f***ing souls to save the only one woman you've ever loved and destroy a whole army. But apparently that latter thing is a typical day in Sweden. And you know, funny enough, because we're actually epic people that are the descendant of Vikings, what we really think of as epic in the modern world is training the bicep and shoulder on the same strong day, day six. No substances, no steroids, smeroids. Motherfucker, what you mean no substances? What the f is in G fuel? We know it's not pre-workout. Must be steroids. All right, so that was cool. Truth be told, with all total respect, I've actually never seen a video of PewDiePie's before. Um, I like to play the video games uh, like Mario Brothers instead of watching other people play them, but I've heard he's cool and is my first exposure to him. And he's not only handsome and has an amazing accent, but it also seems just like a really decent, reasonable person. And you know what? That's a 10 out of 10 in my book for just winning at life. And uh, PewDiePie, wherever you are, please continue to know that uh, when the cold Nordic winds blow on your face, that I was going to say something about blowing on faces, but that wouldn't be nice. Um, a warm wind blows through my heart for you. Namaste. And I'll catch you guys next time.
All right, if you like that video, right over here, click on this one. The YouTube algorithm assures us you'll like it too. See you guys next time.